Hi everyone, it's Louise with Louise McCarr and welcome. I'm in the middle of this and this is lost footage as you can tell by the background of my art right. room. So I'm going to dive right in. Titanium white. All I'm using through this is titanium white, oxide black, and a little bit of gold. Oxide black, straight down the middle if I can get it there. So truth be told here, I wasn't even going to share this video until we had our Thursday Night Rock Report collaboration where I had a coaster set giveaway and I had five sets to choose from and Susan from SJ Pouring, who was our winner, selected this black set. So I figured if it was worthy of being selected out of five, it's worthy of being shown. The other thing about this tricorn black is it behaves differently in terms of it doesn't snap. It's not as tacky as the multi-pro. Okay, I liked the way I had a lot of gold last time, so I'm going to put down some extra gold again. That's a good amount. <clears throat> Got my black. I'll finish up with the titanium white. It's American Floatrol Cell Activator. All right. All right, everyone, even though this is an oldie, I'm still gonna go through the routine of talking through the blowout. And I first blow straight down into the cell activator to get it to start to spread and open up in a circle. Once I get that circle in the ridge of the circle, I blow at that ridge to blow the cell activator over the paints and the paints over the pillow. I keep going around until all of it is spread out. And ideally your initial blow blows out fully in a nice round circle. But if not, you just make up for it as you go along. I think I've got too much cell activator down. So what I'm doing here is I'm just taking that pillow and I'm just stretching it to the edges and the sides to make sure that it's all covered so that when I get ready to spin, I'll have the paint flowing over top of the pillow that's spread out and it'll have a nice place to flow to. Yeah, this tricorn does not have doesn't have the snap of the multi-pro. It's not as thick. And I let this stuff sit open for a couple days. I might have to do more of that. taking paint out of my scrap tub as my extension. Okay, the center is not coming back, so let's do something about that, hopefully. So I'm blowing down into the cell activator to get it open up to allow the colors through. So sometimes it happens where it doesn't want to let the cells pop through right away, and it could be a couple th things. Either the cell activator is too thick, or there's too much cell activator put down in the first place. Now, the reason why I've got the gold here is I wanted to have some other color in with this so it's not just black and white. Okay, let's give it a whirl. Well, this one's really white. Wow, this is not moving over here. It's like stuck. What's going on, folks? What's going on? It's, it's, to me, this is exciting because every time it's a different behavior. Different paints go different directions. Okay, so truth be told here again, I, as I was creating these, I almost scrapped them because I just wasn't really drawn to them. I'm more interested in seeing something with color than this, but I'm glad I didn't. I resined them and they're actually in the mail right now. What is going on here? There is something in the paint. Oh, I'm at the, the bottom of the tin. So no telling what's down there. I've reached the bottom of the barrel. Oh Lord, what is this? It's like a skin.
Well, the good thing about the black is that it kind of hides things as far as that kind of mistake. I think it'll stretch out anyway. I'm not going to worry about that, but that was pretty nasty. Wow, that was nasty. But that's going to spread, so let's give that a spread. In matter of fact, let's give it a little weight. Talked about this before. If you want the paint to flow in a different, uh, in a certain direction, just give it a little weight and then give it the spin with that corner being the lead off corner. Yeah, you won't even tell the difference here. Okay. I'll tell you what, the black is just kind of, it's, it's so dark. Shows up forever. Wow. Oh, wow. All right. Let's see if I can get that corner to spread a little more. Yeah, for those of you that watch me, I usually talk about when I clean the, the edges and the sides, I pull down and pull down away from the drip. This time I can pull it straight out and there's no snap back. There's no, there's no snap. This paint hardly has negligible snap. I won't say it has none, but it has negligible. Even with that horrible thing in there, it still looks pretty good. I don't think it'll be noticeable. Wow, okay, we're calling this one done. Here's this guy. So everyone, that's a wrap of my exploration into black, white, and gold. Once again, congratulations to Susan from SJ Pouring for being the winner of the coaster raffle. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, hit the bell and all. You'll get all my latest art tutorials. And at the very end here, I will have a link to other coasters if you want to look at other color combinations and results. Thanks a lot, everybody. And we'll see you next time. Take care in the meantime. Bye-bye now.